Hello, hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Trying to fix this light so it doesn't give me that halo, but it always gives me that halo. All right. Welcome back, guys. I hope that everybody had an excellent day. Today is Wednesday. I hope that you are ready for your English class. Uh, good evening, Guadalupe. Good evening, Gabriela. Good evening, Jose Luis. Good evening, Daniela. Good evening, Jose Montes. Good evening, Tamar. Good evening, Laura. Good evening, good evening. Elena. Good evening, Patricia. Good evening, Ovidio. Hello, good evening, Claudia. Good evening, Andrea. Good evening, Sabrina. Good evening, Thelma. And good evening, Dalila. Who can tell good me? Teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. How are you today? Like good evening, teacher. How good do you feel? Teacher. Good evening. Nice. How do you feel today? Good. You had a good day? All yeah. right. That's great. I'm happy to hear that. All right. Uh, who can tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? What information do you remember from yesterday's class? I remember uh, we we practiced the sound, the different verbs, and irregular verbs and regular verbs. Correct. That is and correct. A conversation mm -hmm. and a conversation in past. That is correct. Uh, today. What I would like for us to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, move forward. Today, what we're going to be starting off of is going to be the next section. Uh, in yesterday's class, we were looking at the pronunciation of the simple past verbs. Uh, we stopped here on this video. I would like for us to watch this video one more time, just a review, and then we will continue. Listen, please. The platform is loading. Give me just a second. Let me over here. There it is. All right. Let's do this right here. Okay. I never eat fish for breakfast. After you finish this activity. Okay, we're going to start it over. Who can give me an example with always? One example with always. Somebody, an example with always? Somebody? Always? An example? Jose Luis? Uh, always is uh, siempre. Correct. Do you have a, an example? Uh, a sentence? For example? I am, I am always 
it uh, launch. Okay, yeah. okay. You can say uh, I always eat lunch. Good. I always eat lunch. Thank you. Uh, somebody yeah. else? Okay, Gabriela. Uh, I will, will always love you. I will always love you. Very good. Good example. Another example. I always... Um, I always practice my English or English. Okay, very good. I always practice English. Excellent. Go ahead, uh, Laura. Uh, for example, I always uh, drink coffee in the morning. Morning. I always drink coffee drink. in the morning. Okay. The Excellent. Morning. Okay. Excellent. Uh, somebody give me an example with never. Okay, Tamar. Never. An example with never. I never get up early on Sunday. I never get up early on Sunday. Good job. Another example with never. Me, teacher. Yes. I never drink beer i never drink beer very good uh, somebody give me an example with sometimes sometimes um for example I sometimes drink a lot of coffee. Very good. I sometimes drink a lot of coffee. Okay, good. Another example. And Tony sometimes visit his family. Okay, good. Tony sometimes visits his family. Excellent. All right, guys, looks like you don't have any, uh, this is not difficult for you. Let's go ahead and watch the video as a review. Listen, please. I never eat fish for breakfast. Look at the example. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, we're going to watch it one more time to review. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use adverbs of frequency when talking about food. Let's get started by analyzing the examples on the chart. Oh. Adverbs of frequency. Really? <laughs> okay, sorry guys, give me just one second. I think, creo que me confundí de plataforma. Ah, sí, es la, esta es la otra clase. <laughs> Gracias. Uh, what was that? Gracias, Dono Video. Estoy en la plataforma equivocada, guys. Esta es la clase de, de 9 a... Yes, esta es la clase. Okay, this is where we were. And nobody says anything. Nadie me dice nada. <laughs> but that's good. It's a review. It's a review. <laughs> ya lo vieron. All right, so this is the video that we were looking at uh, in the previous class. We practiced using the auxiliary irregular verbs, did, had, and went in the simple past. Uh, today, we're gonna look at yes, no questions. 
uh, what is the difference between a yes, no question and a WH question? What is the difference? Right, the difference is the auxiliary. If I do a WH question, I start what, where, when, how, why, who. Estas son las WH questions. ¿Y cuáles son las yes, no questions? Did, do, is, e, are. So today we're going to be looking at using did in the simple past. For example, eh, le voy a hacer una pregunta. Did you eat pupusas last night? Did you eat pupusas last night? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Yes, I did. Or no, yes, I didn't. Yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. Okay, very good. Uh, another question, let's say, uh, did you, oops, do you, did you, did you go to the gym today? Fuiste al gym hoy? What is the response? Yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. Or no, I didn't. Didn't. Excellent. Okay. Another example. Who can give me another example? Who can give me another example? Me, teacher. Yes, Elena. Um, for example, did you watch a movie um, last week? Very good. Did you watch a movie last week viste una película la, la semana pasada what is the response yes i did or yes no, I, I did didn't. yes i did or no i didn't o oh, digamos te gustó la película how do you say that te gustó la película Did you like? Uh huh. Did you like the movie? The movie. Very good. And how are you going to respond? Yes, I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Um, es correcto decir yes, I like. O no, I didn't like. ¿Es correcto eso? Yes, I like. O no, I didn't like. ¿Es correcto? I didn't like, yes. Eh, no. Yes, I like, no. No, no. It's incorrect. Aquí le hace falta el pronombre. Yes, I like que. Yes, I liked. Sería el, el, el verbo sería en pasado, porque estamos diciendo me gustó. Yes, I liked. Y me faltó el sujeto. ¿Cuál es el sujeto? It. Puedes decir, yes, I liked it. O puedes decir, yes. I liked the movie, pero no puedes omitir el objeto. ¿Ok? Si vas a usar el pronombre it, it's ok. Si vas a usar el nombre the movie, it's ok. 
pero el, el objeto de la oración tiene que ir allí. All right. Lo mismo con el negativo. No, I didn't like it. O no, I didn't like the movie. All right. Vamos a ver el video. And then we will practice. Auxiliary verb, did. Can everybody Finally, hear? we Can you hear? add a compliment and a question mark. Yes, 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 yes. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, I did. Eh, este le empezamos a ver ayer. Vamos a empezar nuevamente. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to ask and answer simple past yes or no questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Did you like it? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark. A good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, I did, or negatively by saying, no, I didn't. In our example, we can see that the question was answered positively, yes, I did, then extra information is given, I had a great summer. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Have turned into had. Let's analyze one more question. I'll choose the last one on this chart. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? First, we will add the auxiliary did. Next, we need to include the subject, Erica and her sister. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, go. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark to Colorado. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, they did, or negatively by saying, no, they didn't. 
in our example, we can see that it is answered by saying, no, they didn't. Then extra information is given. They went to Arizona. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Go turned into went. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to think about your last vacation and practice making questions and answers about it. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Right. Who can give me an example? Who can give me an example? An original example. Okay, let me give you guys an example. All right, um, I say, for example, did Mario and Pedro, did Mario and Pedro eat Kentucky Fried Chicken? No, they didn't. They ate pollo campero. Okay. Eh, Mario y Pie Pedro comieron Kentucky Fried Chicken. No, ellos comieron pollo campero. Right? Or you could say, for example, it did Jose and Daniela study French? Estudiaron Frances? No, they didn't. They studied English, okay? Or for example, did Mr. Santos and the students watch Harry Potter? No, they didn't. They watched a Fast and Furious. Yes, Fast Ten. Quién ya vio esta movie? Quién ya la vio? Quiero ver, quiero ver. Nobody. Nobody. Ah, well, it's that cheap. No, I yet. no yet. No yet. I, I like it. If uh, I recommend it. If you want to watch it, I like it. It's a good movie. I recommend Harry Potter. It's better. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's yes, true. it's good. Yeah, that's true. All right. I want you to work in pairs. Quiero que me escriban por lo menos cinco preguntas con sus respuestas, así como los ejemplos que le acabo de dar. Y los va a escribir aquí en el discussion forum. Eh, voy a habilitar para que pueda compartir su pantalla. Y vamos a trabajar en grupos de tres. Let's go. Any questions? Any questions?
Puede poner en silencio, por favor. Hola. Hola. How are you? I'm, I'm fine. fine. <laughs> All right, ¿quién va a compartir la pantalla? No sé quién puede ahí. Yo la estoy viendo de mi computer. Yo la estoy viendo de mi teléfono. Me too. Alguien puede que estén los dos dispositivos, el teléfono y en la computadora. No sé. No me ha ¿Cómo? Alguien que esté, además de tú, Gabriela, que esté tanto en la computadora como en el teléfono para que no, no esté muy, así muy incómodo. Creo que Kevin lo está haciendo. Sí, ahorita estoy, no sé si hace, mira. Sí, yes. sí. Yes. Ok, ok. Entonces, um, bueno, yo ya estaba escribiendo una, ¿verdad? Eh, sería, do you went to the beach? Ok. Eh, José Antonio, no sé, ¿tiene una? Ok, ¿quién está yes. compartiendo la pantalla? Puede compartir la pantalla. Quiero ver esos ejemplos. Quiero ver que alguien nos esté escribiendo en la plataforma. Ok. Oh. ¿Se mira? ¿Se mira bien? Yes. Ok, uh, tengo una. Bueno, mm -hmm. no sé. sería... Did you speak... Uh, did you speak with my sister? ¿Cómo sería? Did you speak with my sister? With my sister. Oh. Así. Ah, uh -huh. Ok. Este, la respuesta sería... No, uh -huh. Creo que tienes que poner el, el, el didn't. Ah, ok. Pero no, como estás didn't. hablando de ella, vea. Sí. Sería she didn't. No, she didn't. Ok. Uh, no, she didn't. Eh, she was... No, she went. To the lab laboratory. She went to the laboratory. Ah, sí, escribe laboratory, ¿verdad? Yo creo que sí, así lo escribiría ah, okay. yo también. Sí. Okay. Uh -huh. Ese es un ejemplo. El otro, ¿cuál podría ser? Voy a poner sí, yo sí. uno. Ay, dale, 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 pone vos uno. Okay. Yo escribo. El mío sería... Did he learn to drive the last month? Did he learn, dijiste? Did he learn to drive? Mm -hmm. The last month? Eh, la respuesta sería, no, they didn't. Eh, allí no es necesario no, no, the no, last no. The last month, no es, no es necesario el da, porque solo hay un, el mes anterior, ¿verdad? Así que ah, el okay. da ah, no es necesario. Ajá, el da es okay. cuando hay muchos de uno. Sería okay. no, he didn't, no, he, 
didn't see. Uh -huh. He learned to drive last year. Uh -huh. Do you do you like dancing? Eh, aquí. Ok, vamos bien. Vamos bien. Perdón, sí. Lila, decí. Sí. Sí, sí aquí vamos bien. Do you like bien. dancing? Did you. Dijo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Dancing. Y el señor teacher otra vez verba. Welcome es que teacher. no veo. Homework yesterday. And the También, yes I did. Yes I did. No, pero aquí quiero que digan, eh, vaya, el objetivo de esto es que usted pueda corregir, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, Usted dice, did you, did you go to the beach last Friday? Usted va a decir, no, I didn't. No. Uh -huh. I went to the lake. No, fui al lago. Uh -huh. So, allí todas van a ir negativas. No, I didn't. Ok. Oh, ok, ok. El objetivo es que escriban las oraciones... Eh, correctamente, pero yo creo que todos están haciendo eh, bueno, voy a ver los demás ok, teacher, thank you thank you ok, entonces la primera sería did you go to the beach last Friday entonces sería no, uh, no. no I didn't ajá, ahí hay que ver siempre se tiene que poner No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Te faltó la I... N. <laughs> Did N T. Ajá. Yes. No. No, I didn't. I went. No, oh, I, I go. I go. I go, I go to, to the, to the, the, the river, dijo él, ¿verdad? Ajá, también. The river, ok. En la segunda dice, Did they? El tú creo que no va. Solo va, did they dance? Yo creo que sí. Fíjate, porque ahí sería ellos, sí. ellos eh, fueron, me imagino, ¿verdad? Ellos fueron. No, ahí sería, no. ahí sería, no, I didn't, I went to the uh -huh. river. Es lo que le acabo de decir, que íbamos a ocupar el verbo en, en pasado. Ok, ok. Went en vez de go. Ah, mm. ok. Me uh -huh. que bueno, la plataforma. Ajá, porque que... el, el no I didn't, ahí va punto final. Después ah. empieza otra oración. I ah, went ah, to ah. the river. Okay. Esa ya es otra oración. Ajá. Ajá, no, she didn't. She sang terrible, very badly. Ajá, ok. In the chat. Hay más ejemplo. Yo creo que solo tres estamos hablando. Ajá. Ahorita estoy formulando una, ya la doy. Esa se ve bien. No, she didn't. La que puso vídeo. Ajá, ahí sería, did she sing well? Ahí decía, no, she didn't. Solo que no va a punto final después del no, va una coma y el she. Tiene que ir en minúscula. No, she didn't. De ahí oración nueva. Ajá, punto final, oración nueva. She sang terrible. Ahí sería una o la otra. She sang terrible o she sang very badly. Que se me fue de mala. Ajá, ajá. 
la otra opción. Mm, yo les tengo una, chicos. Ok, go ahead. Ok. Did you watch TV last night? Eh, la, la respuesta es no, I didn't, I was studying. Studying. Ok. Um, Kevin. <laughs> Estoy en la, en, en la segunda pensando cómo, cómo oh. responder. Teacher, teacher, um, the second is correct. Eh, solo que allí no es necesario el tú. Did uh -huh. they dance with the school team yesterday? No, they didn't. En el no, no necesita punto final después del no. Allí va una coma. De allí el they didn't, el, la T es minúscula. Uh -huh, they didn't, de ahí punto final. Eh, y puede decir they eh, played football, por ejemplo. They played football. No sería soccer en, en este caso, teacher. Puede ser soccer o football. Allá se practica más el fútbol americano. Sí, y el verbo tiene que ir en pasado. They played. Ed. El verbo tiene que ir en pasado. Played. Played. Correct. Played. Played. Everybody finish. Everybody yes, finish. Teacher. All right. Yes. All right. Is everybody finished? Yes, yes. Yes, teacher, finish. Okay, vamos a esperar que lleguen todos. All right, let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. Me lea las preguntas y las respuestas. Tamar, okay, Tamar. Okay, so yeah, los cinco ejemplos que hicimos. Yes, please. Okay. Do you play soccer today? Yes, I did today. Yes, I did play soccer today. And do you watch TV last night? Yes, I did. Do you go shopping today? And the answer is yes, I did. And did you do you like dancing? And the answer is. Yes, I did. Um, do you do you speak with my sister? And the answer is no, no, I didn't. I spoke with my mom. Perfect, perfect. Good job. All right, let me have Thank you. excellent work. Another volunteer. One more volunteer. Who can volunteer? Somebody. 
wants to participate? Read the examples. Daniela. Okay, sería el primero. Did my mom go to the hospital? No, she didn't. She went to the laboratory. Did he learn to drive last month? No, he didn't. He learned to drive last year. Did Daniela go to the Adele's concert? No, she didn't. She went to Taylor Swift concert. Did you eat hamburgers? Yes, I did. I ate hamburgers. Did they play soccer? Okay, yes, solo que en esa, en esa tenía que decir, no, I didn't. Y corregir, ¿verdad? No, I didn't. I ate pizza, por ejemplo. Esa era la idea, guys. Eh, todas tenían que ser negativas. Ah, todas. Okay. Ajá. Porque tenía que decir, por ejemplo, did you eat hamburgers? No, I didn't. I ate pizza. Did you go to the beach? No, I didn't. I went to the movies. Did you study French? No, I didn't. I studied English. Okay, continue. <clears throat> Daniela, okay. continue. Eh, las demás son afirmativas, pero las voy a pasar a negativas. All right, all right. Let eh, me see, dice, let me see. Wow. Um, did they play soccer? No, they didn't. They play tennis. Nice. Uh, did you go to the movie theater? Uh, no, I didn't. I went to the church. Acuérdese que church no lleva el da. Ahí sería, okay. no, I didn't. I went to church. Lo que son church, work, home, y school, esas cuatro no llevan el da. Son las únicas. De allí, todo lo demás, sí. Okay. That's all. Okay. Nice. Good job, Daniela. Let me have another volunteer. Okay, that's it, guys. Tengo que tomar asistencia. Ya son las 8.42, so I got to go ahead and uh, take the assistance. Please, when I call your name, I want you to say present. Hey, let me have... One moment, please. Let me have the first participant for today is Alba. Present. Excellent. Alba is present. Um, Alison. Present. Andrea. Present teacher. Carlos. Present teacher. Claudia Constante. Present teacher. Claudia Escalante. Present teacher. Dalila. Present teacher. Daniela. Present teacher. Diana. Present. Tell me. <laughs> Elena. I'm here, teacher. Uh, Gabriela Ramirez. Gabriela Oriana. Present teacher. Heiser. Hazer. Jefferson. <clears throat> Jefferson. Jonathan. Jonathan. There's a lot of people absent. Jose Montes. Present teacher. 
Jose Rodriguez. Present teacher. Jocelyn. Kevin. Present. Grisia. Present teacher. Laura. Present teacher. Miguel. Present teacher, gracias. Ovidio. Pre gracias. Present. Sorry, Ovidio. Present. Thank you, Ovidio. Pamela. Present. Patricia. Present. Sabrina. Present, teacher. Okay. Eh, Guadalupe. Tamar. Present teacher. Thelma. Teacher Guadalupe está en la reunión. Eh, en la clase. Sí. sí, allí la vi, le puse presente. Eh. Hola. Oh, ahí está. Ok. Hi, Guadalupe. Ah, presente. Se me fue la... I'm sorry. It's ok, it's ok. Teacher, me mencionó. Hey, Pero, Thelma. Ver, how, you, how you doing, sí, Thelma? Acaso. How you doing, yes. Thelma? Nice to see you. Okay. All right. Thank you. All Teacher, right, that's it. A mí no it. me mencionó tampoco. What is your name? Joana. Oh, Joana. Y Joana. Ok, Joana, good. Eh, vamos a repasar. Jefferson. Jefferson. No, ok. Eh, Hazer. Hazer Rocío. Ok. Gabriela Ramírez. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four people absent. Four out of 30. Not bad. Good attendance. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and continue. Now, um, at this moment, does anybody have any questions about this activity? Questions about the simple past? Yes, no questions. Okay. Let's go ahead and continue. We're going to be looking at section number 4.12. Knowledge check, unscrabble the questions. Instructions, unscrabble the questions by putting the words in the correct order. Remember to type the question mark. Example, you have did summer a good. Did you have a good summer? Number two, watch television. Did you last night? Alguien que ya la hizo? Carlos, Alba. Yes, teacher. Uh, and the answer, the, the question is, uh, did you, did you watch? Television last night. Y la pregunta. Good. Eh, solo que television es. Ajá, okay. 
Sorry Thank about you, that. Teacher. All right. The next one, Jose Montes. Uh, did you have dinner last night? Okay. Thank you, Jose Montes. The next one, El Alba. Go to work yesterday, you did? Did you go to work yesterday? Perfect. And the last one, please, Gabriela. Okay. And... Did, did they go to the movies on Wednesday? In English, guys, Wednesday. El miércoles es mayúscula. Es considerado nombre propio. Todos los días, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays, eh, son mayúscula. Este es error de la error de dedo. Debería de estar mayúscula. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Everybody listen and repeat. Did you watch television last night? Did you watch Did you, did you watch, watch television last night? Did you have dinner last night? Did you have dinner last night? Did you go to work yesterday? Did you go to work yesterday? Did they go to the movies? Did they on go Wednesday? to the movies? They, on Wednesday? En los Estados Unidos, así se dice ir al cine, the movies. No se dice cinema. Se dice the movies. The movies. The movies. Uh -huh. Hey, let's go to the movies. Hey, vamos al cine. <clears throat> okay, let me have one volunteer. All right, Miguel, Miguel me va a hacer las preguntas y yo le voy a responder y después yo le voy a hacer la pregunta y Miguel me va a responder. Miguel, ready and action. Did you watch television? Last night. Last night? Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, I am reading a online book. So I didn't watch TV. I was reading my book. Well, reading and listening at the same time. My book. Okay, teacher. Okay, Miguel, um, did... ask me the next question. Okay, did you have dinner last night? Yes, I did. I ate um, barbecue meat, rice, and salad. Yeah, at 10 p.m. I, I was having dinner. Okay, they caring what... about your body. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is what it is. I don't, I didn't have time to eat. Okay, uh, did you go to work yesterday? Yes, I did, of course. All day, all day, all night. Mr. Santos got to work. <laughs> Eight hours per day. <laughs> Eight hours, while well, me, 10. Because uh, af after my other job, I teach the classes. Okay. Uh, did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Yes, they did. They watched Fast and Furious 10. Okay. Uh, Miguel, did you watch television last night? Mm, no, I didn't. What uh, did you do? Because um, I I take I take her uh, take her yeah took I care took care took caring took caring about my mom. Oh okay okay. Is your mom sick or something? Yes, teacher. I'm oh, okay. uh, I, I take take care about the hair. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. Did you have dinner last night? Uh, yes. I uh, dinner. Uh, yes, I did. Um, I dinner pupusas. I I I I ate pupusas, cheese pupusas. <laughs> oh, delicious, delicious. Yeah. Uh, did you go to work yesterday? Mm, yes, every day. Yes, I did. Uh, every day I go to work, but um, uh, yesterday and today, and I I hope tomorrow too. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's only Wednesday. We got Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, you're right. Hey, the last question, Miguel. Did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Uh, no, I didn't. No, um, no, no, they didn't. I invented. I invented. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. They went uh, to. Uh, they went it? to the supermarket. Oh, okay. They went to the supermarket. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right, guys, let's go ahead and let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. No, no levanten todos la mano la misma vez. Only two, por favor. Okay, Daniela. Thank you, Daniela. One more volunteer. All right, Tamar. Eh, Daniela, ask the questions, Tamar respond. Aha, se me llenó la pantalla de manitas. Volunteers, oh my God, that's too much. Eh, go ahead. pregunta? Eh, de las que están en la lista. Son cuatro. Oh. <laughs> las podrá presentar. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, Tamar. Did you have dinner last night? No, vamos a empezar con la primera. Did you okay. watch television last night? Did you watch television last night? Um, no, I didn't. Uh, I... ¿Cómo se dice...? <laughs> I sleep early. Ah, okay. Yeah. But they said, I went to sleep early. I, I went... I uh, went to sleep early. Sleep early. Okay. Next question. Did you have dinner last night? Eh, no. Eh, no acaba de hacer esa pregunta. No. How did you watch television? Me imagino que va a decir que no por lo mismo. Okay, go ahead, Tamar. <clears throat> eh, ¿La perdimos? Hello, hello. Okay, yo creo que está teniendo uh, internet issues, Tamar. Eh, somebody else? Sorry, teacher, tenía una interferencia ahí. Okay, eso pensamos. Okay, continue. Okay. Iría yo en la segunda pregunta. Yes. Okay. Okay, Daniela, did you have dinner last night? Yes, I did. I ate pupusas. Delicious. continue uh, no we're gonna stop right here we're gonna go ahead and stop right here it's already time to go all right guys thank you for joining the class and staying to the finish i hope that all all of you enjoyed please continue working on the platform and we will see you tomorrow good night good night good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. thank you